All right, in this video, we're going to do an example using Heron's formula. And what this is, it's just a way to find the area of a triangle. Um, so if we have a triangle with link, uh, side lengths A, B, and C, the first thing you're actually going to do is you're going to compute what's called the semi-perimeter. And there we just take A plus B plus C and divide it by 2. And we'll get a value for S. And then what we do, uh, underneath our square root, we take S times the quantity S minus A times S minus B times S minus C. And that's simply going to give us the, the area of our triangle. So let's do a little simple example here, just illustrating this. So we want to know what's the area of a triangle with sides measuring 4 inches, 6 inches, and 9 inches. Well, the first thing I would do would be to compute this semi-perimeter. So we'll take 4 plus 6 plus 9 and divide that by 2. Well, let's see, 4 plus 6 is 10, plus 9 would be 19 over 2. I think I'm just going to leave it as a fraction for the time being. And then it says, uh, underneath our, our square root, so we would basically just have the area equals the square root of, let's see, so 19 over 2. Then we'll take 19 over 2, and we'll subtract away uh, the value for A. We can let that be the 4. And then we'll take 19 over 2, subtract away the value 6. And then we'll take 19 over 2 and subtract away the value uh, of C. We can let that be 9. And that's going to now be uh, an expression uh, for, the, for the area. So again, I'm just taking the semi-perimeter, and then I'm taking the semi-perimeter minus each of the side lengths. Okay. So now it's just a little bit of simplification. Uh, all right, so hopefully nothing here too terrible. Let's see, so we've got 19 over 2. We could always make the 4 into uh, an 8 over 2. So I guess let's write this one all the way out. Minus 8 over 2. We've got 19 over 2. We could make the 6 into 12 over 2. We've got 19 over 2. We could subtract away. Uh, this would be 18 over 2. So let's see, we've got 19 over 2, let's see, I guess 19 minus 8, that would be uh, 11 over 2. Let's see, 19 minus 12, that would give us 7 over 2. And then uh, 19 minus 18, that would give us 1 over 2. And at this point, I don't see much of anything that's really going to, uh, you know, sort of simplify down nicely. You know, nothing's going to cancel out. That's okay. So let's see. Uh, we can do 19 times 11 times 7 times 1. I'm getting 1,463 over. In the denominator, you'd have 2 times 2, which is 4, times 2, which is 8, times 2, which is 16. And if you want to, we can even break this up a little bit further. We can always even simplify this a little bit more. So we can do the square root of the top over the square root of the bottom. So we can actually write this as the square root of 1, 4, 6, 3 over 4. And let's, you know, let's get a feel for it. Let's just put it in a, a calculator. So the square root of 1, 4, 6, 3, I'm getting that to be roughly equal to 38.25 after rounding. Dividing by 4, so 38.25 divided by 4. I'm getting this to be one, or excuse me, 9.5625. So the area would be, in this case, uh, 9.5625. I think we were using inches originally. Uh, so in this case, it would be 9.5625 uh, square inches. So. Uh, that's it. So nothing too crazy at all. Um, you know, maybe a formula you're not super familiar with. Uh, I kind of forget it from time to time, actually. Um, but certainly, uh, it's nice and useful. Um, you know, all you've got to do is just remember just the formula, and then just from the side lengths without doing much of anything. You know, normally we do one half base times height, but to use you know the one half base times height formula, well, we'd have to figure out the height of the triangle. 
Um, and this kind of dodges all that. All you need is just the side links and uh, you're in business.